Hello everyone and welcome back to another diecast review. Today we have a beautiful diecast to be reviewed on the channel. This is Kevin Harvick's number four. What is this called? Something wilderness? National Forest Foundation. That's what this is called. This is a fantastic diecast. I feel like I speak for everybody when I say this. Bush has the best paint scheme hands down. No doubt about it. Just they're awesome. Plain and simple. There is no fight towards that. These guys have the best ideas and creations when it comes to making paint schemes for the racetrack. Now at first I wasn't really planning on getting this, I'm not even going to lie, but it's like, I don't know, this could be one of those die casts that just kind of grows in on me. I mean it's a beautiful paint scheme, don't get me wrong, it's amazing, but it's not really my type of scheme, if that makes any sense, but I was kind of thinking, I better get this now before it gets rare. As a, as a matter of fact, I went to eBay, or not eBay, I went to K-State and Plan B Sales or Circle B Diecast, and I went to look for a Darlington throwback, a Cup Series Darlington throwback, that had the playoffs banners because I was going to use the banners for a custom. I couldn't find it. So, for example, I looked at the Joey Logano throwback for 2020, and I looked at the, the Matt Benedetto playoffs. I looked for that one. I looked for the throwback to also Ryan Blaney, no, they, they wasn't in stock, they didn't have any, so at the time this was released, I waited like, I don't know, a few days, but then I kind of had the extra money, so I'm like, you know what, why not, well, just go ahead and get it, review it, see how it does, and it might grow on me, because again, this is a really nice paint scheme, it's just, it's not really my type of eye candy when it comes to a race car with a full-on wrap on it. Again, it is beautiful. It just doesn't kind of hit my sweet spot when it comes to paint schemes. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the Stylecast review and see what we can get ourselves into. So here's the Stylecast out of the box. And might I add, it looks a whole lot better out of the box, first of all. Second of all, I think what really does this for me, like why, like why I clicked the buy button, was from this, like this subtle sunset slash, you know, really like a pinkish orange clay looking color on the side and on the front because i don't know why but it looks just it's so nature like i mean obviously it's what, what was it called it is called national forest foundation i mean of course it's going to be all like nature like but i love getting outside i love getting outside at night roaming around you know looking at stars fishing at night stuff like that i love to be outside and granted when it's not 100 degrees and you know it's not either freezing at 20 below zero, you know, stuff like that, but on a nice, cool, I don't know, summer day, spring day, stuff like that, I love to be outside and just look at the stars, uh, just do stuff outside, kind of, I don't know, walk around and get to see what I can get into. Now, I haven't really been around, like, often, like, or I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, like, I, like, this past year, like, 2020, I haven't really been in the woods a lot. But, like, before I used to go, like, scouting and stuff like that, I, I really want to kind of get back into that uh, with this year, 2021. Uh, we can kind of see what we can get into. But still, just nature in general, I love it. Camping, love it. Fishing, love it. I don't know, crafting things, love it. You know, it's just, it's kind of my area. So I do have a feeling this diecast is going to grow on me quite a bit. But, I mean, who knows? It may not, or it may. So right here on the roof, or not on the roof, on the hood, we got Bush Beer be uh, Brewed in USA. Oh, is that? Anheuser Busch, St. Louis, Missouri, right there underneath that. And again, we got this like this kind of like clay looking color right here on the front. Again, like it looks very nice. It looks like you know if the car is running on the track, it looks like it's kind of like got a fade on the front. That does look very very nice. I do like that for sure. And that black splitter right there kind of makes up the ground. It does look very very awesome. Uh, also, this is on a base. We are going to keep it on the base until uh, we go to use it in the. Little Wrangler Cup Series, or we can just go take it off the base. But for the die catch review, it will be on the base. You know, it's not a big deal. It's not a big bulky base like the 124s. So we can do uh, the 164 reviews with the little base on it. But yeah, you got Bush there. Got a whole bunch of stars and stuff with that beautiful night sky. Got the Cup Series right there as well. A little, It's a little scuffed, but you know, it's there. Got the four right there. There's a big moon right there. It looks awesome right there above the four. Got a whole bunch of stars. Got some... Uh, Falling stars or shooting stars right there. Got the mobile one right there on the back. And then Harvick right there on the... Oh, that looks... Uh, looks like we got a little paint chip inside the window. That's that's great. Uh, I definitely love seeing that. Definitely good old Lionel quality. You gotta trust them. Harvick right there. That print, though, is actually pretty good. I'll, I'll give him props for that. Uh, National Forest Foundation right there on the deck lid. 
with some more stars and stuff, of course. Ooh, look at the back. That back's really awesome. I mean, we got drunk tail lights, but other than that, it looks very, very awesome. We got the mobile one, Michigan Ford license plate right there. Got the number four, and of course, you got Bush Beer with the tail lights and the camera back there with a black spoiler and a black splitter. Looks very nice. Got Bush Beer. Looks like we got Hunt Brothers Pizza, Jimmy John's, Haas, and got a little wooded area with some campfires. Looks like some fireflies around there. Not a campfire, but a uh, a camp. Just a little tent. I don't know why I was trying to think of tent. There we go. We got the little fireflies right there, or lightning bugs, whatever you want to call them. We call them lightning bugs down here. Uh, Bush Beer right there, National Forest Foundation once again. Looks like we got rush truck centers and, uh, yeah, Exalta. We got some people walking right there. Looks like we got some birds. This reminds me of a lot of hunting. I don't know if you've ever played the Hunter Call of the Wild, but that is definitely what it reminds me of. I don't know, even like finding Bigfoot or something. Just something out in the wilderness. It looks very awesome. Now, we got a weird little paint chip right here. I don't really know what's going on right there. But got, oh, never mind. Nope, it's gone. I don't think that was a paint chip. I think that was just something on the floor. So, on, on the B post, we got uh, Ford, Mobile One, Haas. I don't know what that one is. And Hunt Brothers Pizza. Jesus, how many winter stickers is that? Is that six? Yeah, we got six winter stickers. I'll put that on the screen. Uh, we reviewed another die cast where it had six winter stickers. And I, don't, I don't remember where it was from. So I'll put that on the screen right now so you can kind of see where he wanted to earn these winter stickers. But Harvick, man, he had a dominating season. And I actually did a custom die cast on the Martinsville race version uh, that took him out of the playoffs. So if you want to go see that, link down in the description if you want to go take a look. Over here, we got the NASCAR race car, and they got NASCAR Cup Series. Got a heavily wooded area and some mountains back there. It looks very, very awesome. Got a black side skirt. So this thing has black side skirts, black splitter, and black spoiler. Fantastic idea. It actually looks really, really good. So right here, oh, oh that is a paint chip. Now... Here's one of the cool things with these diecasts, or these type of paint schemes. That isn't, in fact, the paint chip right there underneath the Goodyear. But it kind of looks like it fits in, because, you know, it's got all the, the black and the dark colors and the weird shapes and stuff like that. So it's not too big of a deal when it comes to a paint scheme like this. But that still doesn't really make it okay when it comes to line up quality. I can get a, I can get a little bit of, like, slack to line up, because this is a whole lot to wrap and decal, and you gotta do a lot, because there is no paint on this thing. This thing is in entirety of just decal, so I can kind of understand that. Got 3M Lincoln Welders and Sunoco right there. Got the number four and the headlight right there, so we're moving back to the front now to see the decal placement. It looks pretty good. I don't know if that one's scuffed or not. I know, but there's a, there is a, a decal wrinkle right there. As you can see, it looks like a freaking eyelash. But yeah, we got Stuart Haas right there as well. We got the Mustang, the Ford, and all that stuff. We got the grill intake. And actually, it's placed pretty well. So I'm going to give Lionel props on that. I haven't seen, I don't think we've seen a huge like decal error on this diecast. So I think this one actually turned out very, very good. Which is very shocking, actually, considering the fact that it is Lionel Racing. And, you know, normally we have terrible paint chips with diecasts like this. But this one was actually. It was pretty good, honestly. I only saw one paint chip. I could be wrong. There could be a few more. But if there was, it was hard to spot just because of the background. And it looks like I missed the detail, so we're going to take a look at that real quick. So on this side, it looks like we got a campfire. You see that? got a campfire. There is no people walking or anything, but there's a campfire. So on this side, on the left side by the American Ethanol Ring, there's a campfire there. And on the other side, where the campfire would be, there's a little tent. So yeah, that's pretty cool that how they had it on different sides. Very, very nice. I, honestly, I feel like little stuff like that completes the paint scheme by like a thousand percent. It always looks very good. Oh, what is that? Do we have another roof or another like windshield decal or not decal, but air? Look at that. Got a big old split right there within the roof and the windshield. So it's not terrible, but it still, you know, shouldn't happen. So I'm not going to harp on that too much. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not ridiculous, but it's still there and it's still noticeable. So... I don't know, it's just Lionel has been having uh, windshield uh, errors recently, and I don't know why. But still, either or, I'm giving this die cast for the, the quality a 9 out of 10. Paint scheme, 10 out of 10 easily. Now, again, I am I think just by reviewing this die cast, I think I became a lot more of a fan of the paint scheme than I was 7-8 minutes ago in the start of the video. This one actually might go to the collection. It's it's actually very, very nice, and I do appreciate how much work was done to it, the, the design and everything. It just it looks very, very awesome. And if you haven't picked this up already, if they're not sold out anywhere, I would suggest picking this bad boy up before they get sold out because 90%, right, 90% of the 2020 releases are sold out. You can't get them on K-State. You can't get them on... Plan B sells, Circle B diecast, Lionel Racing even. It's all about just the quality, or no, yeah, the, 
the quantity, not the quality, the quantity of how many are produced. They do say limited edition for a reason, but when you run out on K-State and stuff like that, you know, Plan B sells all those amazing websites to get these amazing die cast, right? It leaves it up to the eBay scalpers to sell them to you for a price that you pr probably should not pay. They'll charge like $5 extra or, you know, stuff like that, right? So... If you have a chance and you if you can find this anywhere for a decent price, like a good price, like seven, eight, nine, ten dollars, definitely, definitely pick it up. Cause I can easily see this being a fifteen, twenty dollar die cast later later on in the future. So with that being said, that'll be all for this die cast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Upside down.